think Acro Mills is perceived as an industry leader because of the fact that we um, have great relationships with our customers. We listen to what our customers um, tell us. We partner with certain customers to come out with innovative products. Uh, the customers that are using our product in the field, in their facilities, whether it be for distribution, storage, organization, we really bring to market the products that they require to fulfill the needs of their applications. We've been known over the years for our high quality products, on-time delivery, uh, customer service support, and um, we've been in the industry for so long our, our brand name is very strong. Virtually every company in the United States can use an Acromos product. Uh, everyone needs storage. We sell a top quality product. We have uh, excellent lead times, uh, brand name recognition uh, that sets us apart from all of our competitors. Because uh, we focus so much on improving quality and delivering stuff better and making our jobs easier and more efficient. Well, we take a lot of pride in our service and we try to make it do all the little things that makes it easier for our customers and we want to maintain that high level of service and that's, uh, that's our main focus. Everybody on board just pushing forward and trying to put out a better quality product continuously which is always important. But it's sales, it's, uh, it's operations, it's manufacturing, it's marketing, it's advertising, it's uh, customer service. It's more than just a parts bin or a uh, you know, solution to material handling products. It's really the whole Acromills advantage, everything that goes into it. I am Marilyn McCoy. I am product quality. I am Acromills. I am Cindy. I am product quality. I am Acromills. I am Ty Shirley. I am product quality and I am Acro Mills. It's obviously extremely important. They're making a substantial investment into the product. They're buying a number of bins, totes, other items for their facilities and having the quality there that's gonna work for them long-term is extremely uh, meaningful. The customer likes to know that if they expand their storage systems one year to the next, what they get this year is going to look like it did last year and it's going to perform in the same manner. Well, quality is uh, very important to the customer and one of the keys is showing them. When you look in a catalog, it's very nice, but when you actually look in uh, at the product itself and you feel it, touch it, look at the features, the benefits, people see the quality in our product. Uh, between myself, the supervisors, down to the operators, quality, control in between is very huge. Um, we have a lot of things in place between the supervisor, the mold techs, and the quality, checking the parts throughout the entire shift, um, looking for the defects, trying to ensure that the customer is getting 100% quality every box they open. I can't impact quality by myself. It takes everybody here to have a role in it, and um, I think we're a pretty good team here. The customer wants to get the product that he's expecting. He wants it to be, you know, the way he has seen it, maybe in a catalog or at a show or something like that. He doesn't want any defects. He wants it to be able to do what we have advertised it to do. Safety is number one. I have a meeting every week with my people, and every week we talk about safety. We, we make sure they have safety gloves, hearing protection. Personal protective is number one. Safety we push pretty big, um, from being on lift trucks with the seat belts to being in man lifts with uh, your harness on. So we're always uh, looking out for each other as far as safe behavior because that's the biggest thing that drives unsafe conditions. It's really not too much the machinery, it's more the behavior of people. So. Uh, we consistently look at behavioral-based issues today where uh, predominantly it was more physical plant, you know, is, is the floor swept, are we well organized? We're past that evolution. Now it's behavioral-based where people are now really involved with the safety committee at, as to assessing the this risk of a situation prior to engaging in that activity and we've seen great benefit in a reduction in incident rates at our facility.
Well, really delivering innovation by listening to the customers, the customer I mean the end user, the person who's really using the product, and determining what their needs are, and then taking it a step further and turning that into products that solve a problem. You know, the case being our uh, indicator bin that we just came up with in market in the market within the last few months, uh, really saw a void in the marketplace uh, for something, a simple solution to an inventory control bin. And that's probably a great example of something that we've done that's been successful. Well, we're one of the few uh, manufacturers of plastic containers and totes that strives to bring new products to market uh, based on new trends in manufacturing and management, you know, for example, 5S and lean production. We try to go in and talk to customers and see what ways we can improve our products to help them fit into those newer processes. If anybody has an idea, they're open to it. And they'll give you the resources and the tools to try and make your idea happen. Businesses create new processes as they're developing new products and trying new things. Uh, they create new, new problems for them to solve. So we're trying to come up with innovative solutions to really help just the basic material handling and storage of, of product. Back to the Acro Mills Advantage, we have engineering, we have product development people that other people don't have, and we are you know, going to trade shows, uh, working to working directly on site with end users to get feedback to find what problems need to be solved and then we try to develop products for them. We just don't manufacture product and throw it out there. We actually, we, we do attempt to listen to our customers and I think we do a great job of um, listening and that's why people look to us for innovation. I think there's a lot of pride working here. I think we have a, a, a very good group of people here. Um, I think that everybody takes pride in their work. They get to see the finished product. We know that our product is perceived as being a higher quality product in the industry, and I think that makes everybody feel really good about their job. There's a high level of accountability and empowerment. Our folks here know that they can make change on a daily basis, whether it's an operator, a technician, an accountant, a uh, customer service representative, they're all empowered to make change and by doing that uh, the buy-in engagement in that business uh, is much higher than you would have in a business where that doesn't exist. Not only are the people here good to work with, but we're good to our customers. We're very honest people. We try to deal honestly in all our business transactions and with our customers, treat them as partners. Acro Mills has always been kind to us. You know, they they think about the employees as well as the customers. They keep us happy. In turn, we keep our customers happy. They gave me the opportunity to learn and grow. Um, I turn around and feed that right back to my employees to give them that opportunity. Now, a lot of people have been here a long time, which says something about how the company treats the people. We're very proud to work for Acro Mills. Hi. I am Acro Mills. I am Acro Mills. I am Acro Mills. I am Acro Mills. I am Acro Mills.